Hey guys, Mike here for a new breakdance video. So today we are going to add some animations. So I have this page, which actually come from the template for a trip. And there is no animation whatsoever. So we are going to add some by ourselves. So if you are familiar with the GSAP library, it should be a bit easier to understand. But don't worry, it's still pretty easy to play with. So just select the element you want to animate and go to the advanced tab and you have this animation here with three kinds of animation, sticky. So I'm not going to play with the sticky one. It's pretty easy to use. Top. I select my dual heading here and as you can see, you have this option here. But let's play with the entrance and scrolling animation. So for the entrance, let's check with this image, for example. Let's add entrance animation. And we have all this animation. So let's pick up one. I think by default it's 100 pixel. And if you go to advanced, you can change the distance. So you can set 200 pixel if you want to make it a bit uh, faster or you can even change to 100%. You can change the duration. And very important, you can disable it on mobile. So you just have to pick up the breakpoint. Let's say phone landscape. So here I have the animation. Let's go to phone landscape and it's not animated. So this is uh, good to know because you don't necessarily want to have a lot of animation on mobile. And uh, what else you can do? You can change um, animate only once. So which means animation will play only one time, even if you go back to the top of the page. And you can change the ease here. So let's say, for example, uh, a little uh, back out like this, right? OK, so it's pretty easy to use. And uh, many page builders have very similar animation like this. So let's play with the scrolling animation, which is a bit more special and much more powerful. So let's start with uh, one example, that one actually, because I think it's really interesting to make it turn. Go back here, scrolling animation. So the scrolling animation, the default is it's just play while you scroll. So let's enable it. Rotation, start with zero. So this original position and change the 360 degree and just play it. Just scroll the page and as you can see. So in a few seconds, we can add this very nice animation. We have more options here and let's check the advanced tab here. We have the scrub effect. Scrub effect give a kind of a delay. So let's add one second. And it's still with the scroll bar. But as you can see, when we stop the scroll bar, the animation continues for one second. And it makes actually the animation very smooth and can be pretty interesting. Let's do that with, uh, for example, uh, a text here. Go back to animation, scrolling. Enable and horizontal. So let's say minus 200, zero here and 200. And let's, so let's play with that first. Okay. So not bad. And let's go to the advanced and change to 600, for example, and let's do that. So we have this little uh, delay and it makes it very smooth and I think this can be pretty interesting. So, and we can change the easing, but the easing is a bit more, is a bit weird when you play with a scrolling like this. Let's change with a back out, for example. As you can see it's a bit weird, so usually I keep the ease by default. It's more interesting. Uh, once again, you can disable on mobile. So it's always good to know.
let's go back to the mobile mode and no animation here you can of course keep it too okay now let's cancel that one and do something with these four images now we are going to do a vertical animation and you need to understand something because it works in a very special way it's very logic but you need to understand how it works so let's do a vertical position minus 200 0 and 200 right let's add maybe one second i like this uh, scrub effect so it's a bit more smooth okay 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 so let's play that so it's what we want minus 200 to 200 and when we are at the middle of the page i want the image to be at this original position the thing is it's not right here it is the image it's at this original position only here which is a bit weird but it's totally logical so i'm going to show you why let's go back there change enable this debug option here now we have some um, some visual uh, help here you can see i click here and scroller hand scroller start start and end so scroller start it's when the animation will start scroller end it's where the animation will end and start is from the image the image the animation of the image will start will start when this position will reach the scroller start and when this position and will reach the square end pretty hard to understand i think but okay let's go back here okay start as you can see my image is here so now as the animation which we'll start here go to the top go to the top and you see the hand here it will reach the hand and stop and you can see the image actually is stopping here go 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 and it's not animated anymore because the end is uh, up there it's already reached the top of the screen here okay so how to fix that problem why first this image starts right there the thing is we have changed the vertical position to minus 200 so let's go back to the bottom and minus 200 is right here we have this option here advance and we have this option relative to viewport page custom so by default the animation is relative to the element itself which is the image we can change relative to the viewport so it can be a bit different too or to the full page so this is already the full page which is pretty huge and can be or custom okay so we are going to use the custom option here we need to choose a selector so what selector to choose so we need to select a parent element so it can be that one but because i'm going to use this uh, the same for the four images i'm going to choose that div here okay so that container contains the four images with all the text there i think it's not bad okay so let's add a class to that one let's say block images and let's go back to our image advanced custom so notice the start here i will add my id it's an id so id and now the start is right there which is actually this div and hand as you can see start hand it's the full div here so now the animation is relative to this full div and now notice the image here the start here we continue 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 and the animation with end right there now it means the animation of the image will stop now it's not animating anymore but we barely notice it and at least now the image is at a good position almost the same position of the image uh, not totally at the middle of the screen because the full div has some text so not totally centered but it's much better to see the difference with the um, other version let's go back to animation here i copy my animation i will select that one and pass the animation and 
let's remove for that one the reality position. So what we had just before, it was that one. We have the exact same animation, but it's this this one is relative to the image itself. That one is relative to the container. And as you can see, the difference is like this. So when you play with vertical animation, it's always a good idea to uh, select a container instead of the element itself. So you have more control and it will do exactly what you want. So let's uh, let's add a bit more effect here. For example, let's add um, first. Let's do something a bit uh, a bit nicer. Vertical position. I will actually set it to zero here. And uh, opacity. Let's change it to zero. One one. And uh, maybe a little rotation. Twelve. And zero zero or minus 12. Right. Okay. And then you know, it doesn't move. Okay. Let's uh, copy this animation. Past it. Past and past. Now we have the same for all of them. And uh, let's change that one. Vertical change to and maybe a change also the rotation to okay like that uh, copy animation pass animation and now we have this nice little effect okay so that's pretty cool so very important as I said when you play with a vertical position, don't forget to change the selector here and select a container. Unless the animation is fine for you, but if you have, if you want to be sure to have the full control and uh, be sure it starts at the good uh, position, it's usually better to do that that way. Okay, let's add uh, maybe something else here. So let's add uh, another scrolling animation with the title here. Let's go to scrolling. Okay. So now I'm not going to play with a vertical position, so I don't need to change uh, the relative option. Uh, I will do a scale effect, for example. Let's do a bit three. One, one. I can set it to zero, so it will disappear totally. But I think I like when it arrives like this and doesn't move. So it's a kind of entrance animation, but uh, with a scrolling. And uh, let's add a little uh, one second of scrub here and maybe a bounce effect. And maybe opacity. So zero, one, one. Okay. So oh, that's pretty nice. As you can see, you can combine uh, all this uh, this um, option, and you can make a lot of different effects. Let's do another one with, for example, uh, maybe this background here. So how is it? Uh, yes, it's a background image here. Let's add maybe. Maybe if I'm going to add a big overlay in front of it, background. Uh, black and uh, let's change the position absolute zero 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 and in the section of if it's center yeah okay so i will change the size and make full width okay so now my image is uh, hidden behind this uh, this overlay why is it overlay here okay and let's add a uh, Full animation, scrolling animation. Let's go back with the opacity and one zero one. Okay. So it's black and 
we have a kind of a, a fade effect while scrolling, which is pretty nice too. And um, if you want to understand the trigger option here, let's uh, add a, do we have the option here? Okay, debug, okay. As you can see, start and scroller start. Okay, so let's play with the trigger now, opacity. So the animation will start here when it's uh, which the scroller start. And if I move that one here, that one will move too. So let's say I will change it to 30, 30%. Now scroller start is here, and let's say, you can see scroller hand, 70%. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's still black. It didn't change, and now, start, the animation will start to change. Okay. And it will stop. The end of the animation is right there. So from here, it will to be totally black. So here's how it works, actually. So you can play with the trigger here to know when to start and when to end the animation. And uh, that's, uh, that's it for this kind of animation. So you can see we can add, uh, we can easily animate any element. And um, we have the blur effect too. Okay, so I don't need to, to throw everything. Feel free to play with it. And uh, what else do we have? Uh, we have also in uh, Breakdance version 2. Uh, do I have a slider somewhere? No. Okay, so maybe I add a slider somewhere. And put them here. Okay. Uh, we can animate in the same way. Advanced slider here. We chose something we couldn't do before. You just select your element in a in a slider, and you have the same option here. If I want to add a slide on uh, in my slider, so let's go back here. So it's something we can do now with Python's version two. We can uh, also animate uh, uh, the slide, the element inside each slide. And we have also uh, animation in the pop-up. I don't have a pop-up here, but you can also animate the pop-up en France and exit, if I remember. Now, if you want to check more animation, feel free to go to the library and go to the fancy section. So in the fancy section, uh, you have a lot of uh, fancy things, but you have a lot of animation, animated section six, animation se section five, and everything use this uh, two entrance and scrolling animation. So this is a scrolling animation, scrolling animation. So you can see how it's done. Let's go back to that one. You can add them and uh, lot of different kind of animation right there. Okay, let's go back to the top, okay. So feel free to check if you want to learn more about how it's done. And, uh, and that's it for that video. Okay, so see you next time for another video.